Hi. So there's a term you might come across or might have come across a couple times in doing your translations and that's back translation. So today I just wanted to talk a little bit about back translations, talk about what they are, when they're used, why they're used, etc. So back translation is a term which literally means a translation back. So if you translate something from Italian to Spanish, then you can translate it, you can proofread it, you can edit it, etc. But then a back translation means that you translate it from the Spanish back into the Italian to make sure that it retains its original meaning. Now back translations are usually not performed by choice or because the company wants it, but because be, due to law. You see them very often for medical translations, pharmaceutical translations, they're used for clinical trials, they're used for IRBs, institutional review boards. So if you deal with medical or pharmaceutical translations, you've probably come across them or you will soon. You might also see it in technical translations. They're also seen very often in legal translations just because for legal purposes they need to back translate a contract to the original language and make sure everything was correct. For example, if you're dealing with lawsuits or if there's a chance that you might deal with a lawsuit or something dealing with the court, etc., etc. Which makes sense because if you translate a contract into say 15 languages, you want to make sure that nothing fell through the cracks and that all 15 translators got it right. So how do you handle a back translation? If you're given a back translation and you're told it's a back translation, which you should be, treat it like a normal translation, but that function takes precedence over form. You want to make sure you got all the terms correct, you have the right tense, you know what you're saying correctly, even if it sounds not completely fluid and uh, it doesn't sound like someone would say it. As long as the meaning is correct and precise, that's what you need from the back translation. Otherwise, quite frankly, you treat it like any other translation. So if someone assigns you a back translation, you can just treat it like a normal translation, make sure it's precise and you have everything correctly, translated correctly like you normally would, and you can go about your day. And if you have any other experience with it, feel free to let me know. I don't have too much experience with back translations. I've used them for some legal stuff, but I don't really do medical or pharmaceutical translations, so I haven't really come across them there. But regardless, I hope you found this useful. If you did, please click like. Please feel free to subscribe for more videos about freelancing, freelance translation, and I'll see you next time. Savedum!